So this is the sample solution to the 2021 Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths Paper 2, question 5. It has an A and a B and there's two parts to the A and then the B is the time, distance and speed question. So we look through the full question here now. So starting off on part A, two identical right circular solid cones meet along their bases and fit exactly into a sphere as shown in the diagram. Prove that the volume of the remaining space inside the sphere is E exactly half the total volume of the sphere. So basically what you're looking at here is your formula for a cylinder and your formula for a cone and basically it's telling us that twice the volume of our cone and our formula from our log tables is one third pi r squared h that's the volume of a cylinder or sorry of our cone and if I let that equal to two multiplied by a third is giving me two over three pi r squared h. Now if we look at our picture, the height of our cone is also the radius of our sphere. So I'm just gonna change h for r. So when I sub that in, I get two over three pi r squared times r. So I'm just substituting in r for h and that is gonna give me two over three uh, pi or cubed. Now the volume from our log tables of a sphere, so volume of sphere from our log tables is written as 4 over 3 pi or cubed. Now you can see here that the volume of my two cones is half the volume of my sphere because if I take the volume of my sphere 4 over 3 pi or cubed and different ways you could finish out this question I'm going to divide it by the volume of my two cones, so two over three pi r cubed. And when I divide the sphere by the two cones, I get two. And that's telling me then that the uh, two cones are half the volume of the sphere. So therefore, I'm just gonna make my small little conclusion. Uh, volume of sphere is double volume of two cones. Uh, and that's part A, part one. Part two, it's telling us that the combined volume of the two cones is 686 over three pi centimeters cubed. Find the radius of one of the cones. So that is telling us so that the volume of the two cones. So the volume of two cones is two multiplied by one over three pi r squared h, similar to part one. I'm gonna let that equal to my volume. So when I multiply in that two, I get two over three pi r squared h is equal to volume, which is 686 over three pi. I'm now gonna substitute in my r for h once again. So that's giving me two over three pi r cubed is equal to 686 pi divided by three. In order to isolate the r cubed, I'm gonna divide across by two over three pi. So that's giving me 686 over three pi, all divided by two over three uh, pi. Again, a little bit of calculator work here. That's gonna give me r cubed is equal to 343. And then to get r on its own, I need to find the cubed root of 343 and the cubed root of 343 is radius of seven centimeters. And that's part two. Scrolling down now to part B. So at 9 a.m. a delivery van leaves a factory. It travels towards its destination at an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour. An hour and 45 minutes later, a second van leaves the factory on the same route. It travels at an average speed of 95 kilometers per hour. Both vans arrive at their destination at the same time find what time they arrive at. Okay, so there's a bit of time, distance and speed really is what we're looking at here. Um, they both travel the same distance basically, don't they? They're, they're both going from a warehouse, the factory to their destination. So they're both going the same distance. So I'm first of all, just gonna state that. Uh, well, actually, let's see, I have van A. So I'm gonna go my 9 a.m. van and I'm also gonna do out my uh, nine plus 145 van. So I just have two scenarios going on here. Uh, they're both traveling the same distance. 
and let's give that distance a value. I'm going to give it the value of x. So they're both traveling x kilometers. Okay, I'm just listing out everything I know before I kind of get into the question. Uh, the speed of this van is 60 kilometers per hour. And the, v, the speed of my second van is 95 kilometers per hour. And I'm going to say that my first van arrives at its destination at, let's say, some time, and I'm going to call it T. So it takes a certain amount of hours to get from, er, from um, my factory to destination. Now, if I look at van two here, the van that leaves at 9 a.m. plus an hour and 45 minutes, it is going to travel an hour and 45 minutes less than the first van. So how do we write that time? That's going to be written as time, whatever amount of time the journey is, minus um, the one hour, 45 minutes, or one and three quarter hours. So what I'm doing there is the T stands for the time it takes to travel in the van. And for the second van, I'm taking away an hour and three quarters because it travels less than the first van. So if I write that as a decimal, that is time minus 1.75. So it's one hour, 45 minutes, but it's 1.75 as a decimal. Okay, so I've written both of them now um, as arrival times. If I want to find the distance traveled by both vans, so let's look at our distance here now. From our junior cert days, distance, speed, and time, distance is found by multiplying speed multiplied by time. Again, I'm doing it out for both of them here. Distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. Now, on my first van, the speed of this van is 60 kilometers per hour, and the time, I'm writing it as just t. So the distance, my first van, is 60 t. Again, I don't know the value of t. Coming over to my second van, it's going to be a speed of 95 kilometers per hour, multiplied by time, well, it's now going to be t minus 1.75. Again, that one and three quarter hours. And when I multiply in that 95, I get 95 t, uh, minus 166.25. So that is the distance of the second van. Now again, remember that they're both traveling the same distance. So that means, therefore, that both of these are equal to each other because they are traveling the same. So that becomes 60t is equal to 95t minus 166.25. And a little bit of algebra now. Uh, putting t's on one side and constants on the other. So that's giving me, uh, I'm going to subtract 60t from both sides. So 95t minus 60t, and I'm going to add 166.25 to both sides. Taking 60t away from 95t is giving me 35t. And to get t then on its own, I'm going to divide 166. 0.25 by 35. So that is giving me, I'm just going to pull it up here now, that's giving me t or time as 4.75. Now this is time in hours, so 4.75 hours, which is four hours and three quarters of an hour is 45 minutes. Now, again, remember what's happening here. My first van left at 9 a.m. in the morning and it travels four hours, 45 minutes. The question is asking us to find what time they both arrive. So I need to now add on four hours, 45 minutes. So the vans are going to arrive at their destination at uh, 13.45 or 1.45 p.m.